Welcome to another training session of the Somatic Manager series. This car wash system has three stations, rinsing station, main wash station, and the air blowing station. Before discussing further, I would request you guys to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more video tutorials. At the rinse station, we have a car sensor number one, which is connected at the I0.2 input of the PLC. When the car comes in front of this sensor, the PLC will turn on the rinsing nozzles by turning on the PLC output Q0.0. And as soon as the car leaves the sensor I0.2, the rinsing nozzle stops. Once the rinsing is finished, the driver will move the car forward and move to the main washing station. Here, as soon as the car comes in front of the car sensor number 2, I0.3 sensor, the soap applicator Q0.1 will move one turn around the car and apply the soap on the car body. Once the soap is applied on the car, the soap applicator confirms the application by giving the signal at the PLC input I0.4. As soon as the PLC receives the soap application done signal at I0.4 input, the rinsing nozzle Q0.2 opens and start washing the car to remove the soap. These rinsing nozzles will remain turned on for 30 seconds. Once the main wash cycle is over, the driver will move the car forward. As soon as the car comes in front of the sensor number 3, I0.5, the PLC will turn on the air blowers Q0.3 for, for 1 minute to remove the water from the car body and dry it. After 1 minute, the air blowers will turn off and here the main washing cycle will be finished. Now let's see the programming for the today's car wash project. As you can see that in the network we have a start cycle bit M10.0 and as soon as we turn on this bit it will latch on this start cycle bit and this bit M10.0 will stay on until somebody turn on this bit M10.01 which is cycle start bit. In the network number 2, if the cycle start bit is on and the car comes in front of the sensor in the station number 1, on the rising edge of the sensor, it will latch on the Q0.0 rinsing nozzles and it will start to spray the water on the car body. Now, how we are going to turn off this output Q0.0? As soon as the car leaves, the station number one and we get a falling edge of this sensor i0.2 it will reset the output q0.0 and turn off the rinsing nozzles in the network number three we have a soap application logic if the start cycle bit is on and the driver drives the car up to this I0.3 sensor on the rising edge, it will start the soap applicator. And this soap applicator will start to rotate around the car and apply the soap on the car body. Now we have a output from the soap applicator which is I0.4 which indicates that the soap application cycle is done. As soon as we get a rising edge from this input I0.4, it will turn off the soap application with Q0.1. Now in the network number 4 we have a main wash rinse logic. As soon as we get a rising edge from the soap application done bit, it will turn on the main rinse nozzles and it will start to spray water on the car body. In the next network, as soon as this output Q0.2 turns on, it will start a timer T1, whose preset time is 1 minute. 
once the one minute is over it will turn on this m11.0 bit which indicates that the nozzle rinse timer is over we have used the same bit m11.0 here to reset the q0.2 output and it will turn off the rinsing nozzles in the network number six we have a logic for the air blowers as soon as the car comes in front of the sensor I0.5, on the rising edge, it will start the air blower and turns on the output Q0.3. And this output will stay on. In the next network, we have used the normal open contact of this Q0.3 output. As soon as this contact closes, it will start a one minute timer. As soon as this one minute timer is over, it will turn on this bit M11.1, which indicates that the blowing cycle is over. And we have used this bit to reset this Q0.3 blow output, and it will turn off the output after one minute. So that's the whole logic. We will download this into the PLC and let's see how we can simulate it and how we can prove as you can see that if we turn on this cycle start bit and 10.0 it turns on start cycle which is m10.2 if this bit is on and the car comes in front of the sensor i0.2 on the rising edge it has latched on the rinsing nozzles and the rinsing cycle starts and the sprays are starting to spray the water on the car body. And the driver is slowly moving the car away from these nozzles. As soon as the car leaves the sensor I0.2, on the falling edge, it resets the output Q0.0 to turn off the nozzles. Now, for the SOAP application logic, as soon as the car comes in front of the sensor I0.3, it turns on the SOAP applicator, and SOAP applicator starts to apply the SOAP around the car. Now, as soon as this SOAP application is done, this input I0.4 turns on, and it turns off this SOAP application. And at the same time, on the rising edge of this bit I0.4, it turns on the rinse nozzles, and the rinsing nozzle starts to spray water on the car body. And as soon as this main rinse nozzle turns on, it has started this timer T1, and it will spray the water on the car body for one minute. And right now, it has 20 seconds. Romanian. Now, as soon as this timer reaches for one minute, it will turn on this bit M11.0. As you can see that right now it has turned on this bit and this bit reset here, the output Q0.2 and it turns off the spring nozzles. Now, the driver moves the car to the other station, which is air blower. As soon as the car reaches the sensor I0.5, on the rising edge, it turns on the air blowers, Q0.3, and here, this bit, normal open contact of this Q0.3 output, it had turned on this timer also and it is started to timer. And this timer will wait for one minute. As soon as this timer is over, it will turn on this bit M11.1 and this bit we have used here to reset the air blows. As you can see that right now only 8 seconds are remaining. 
and as soon as this timer is over it will turn off the Q0.3a blows and we can reset this cycle by turning on this bit M10.1 So that's the end of the today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Do share, like, and subscribe to our channel to stay connected with us. And please don't forget to press the bell icon for getting to get the notifications for the new upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care. Goodbye.